grin and a week. So he's gonna wiggle his bum like a madman. Bruno! Does your missus welcome you like that? Yeah, absolutely. She <laughs> snores in exactly the same way. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, that. That is so cool. Oh, oh, oh really? Mm. to the first Amica video on YouTube. So Amica, we're gonna be um, filming everything behind the scenes, all our events for YouTube, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and today, um, we're filming particularly today because we've got our first Amica fitness competition at CrossFit Shoreditch. Um, and so that's very exciting. And yeah, so our plan, me and John, is to basically share everything that goes on with Amica. Uh, behind the scenes, so people get to know all the team, you, Connor, John, everybody that's involved. And yeah, basically we just see what happens. All the chaos, basically. Um, we don't even know what's gonna happen, but it's good to look back in 20 years um, and look at all our mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so today we're kicking off our first event at CrossFit Shoreditch. I'm a co-owner of CrossFit Shoreditch uh, with Margo and Tony. Uh, and yeah, I mean, with, with Amica, we've got like huge plans to uh, do events in London. Um, we want to do a big event uh, in <laughs> that we've already locked in, but we haven't like, you know, I can't really say too much about it, but obviously my, my main company originally is events. So, you know, I'm bringing the event side to Amica. John's bringing obviously logistics, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think as a whole for Amica Fitness, it's gonna be, really fun. I mean, our plan is just to have as much fun as possible. Um, and from there, we'll see what happens. Obviously, we're both obsessed with fitness. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's our first glimpse of the future of Amica with events. Um, but there's tons of athletes, uh, Puma involved, yeah. Whip Fitness involved. Uh, we, we're working with loads of other brands as well. Uh, so, it's gonna be interesting what happens, yeah. We'll see what happens. So while I'm chatting rubbish, this is John. This is John, the co-owner of Amica Fitness. Anyone that's probably ordered stuff over the last year from Amica has probably spoke to John. Yeah, anyone on Instagram, yeah. that's all me. Yeah. Um, this is Connor. He does all our editing. It's uh, social media now and yeah. more stuff. Um, and this is Joel. He's our um, encyclopedia on North Korea. I've just picked up this North Korea book from his shelf. Very interesting. <laughs> just so you know, though, that's not my book. I don't, I don't have books on North Korea. Where's it come from? What? Uh, it's come from there. Okay, from North Someone Korea. stole some books. <laughs> like okay. It's very interesting. If you guys want a little... Um, in Pyongyang, at least, he is already part way there to achieving his goal. Uh, <laughs> since coming to power, the young Kim's focus on the structure of leisure and pain and pleasure takes to millennials and the emerging middle class, along with the desire to increase tourist numbers. I assume this is what you want on the vlog. <laughs> yeah, nice bit of North Korean propaganda. Oh. Love it. The reclusive country now has oh, a goal. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough now. Uh, so Joel's here today. Joel's one of my best mates. And um, Joel, we're doing the uh, competition together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come prepared, look. Yes, please. I've got it on underneath. Um, it's uh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Do you know what, weirdly, 
Joel, we've been friends for over 10 years, but Joel got me into CrossFit. Yes, I did. I forgot about that. You did. I kept on, because I've done it for ages, and uh, I knew that you would love it, because it's got that addictive quality to it. And I knew you'd love going to the gym, but like a lot of people, you would start, and then you'd stop, and then you'd start, and then you'd stop. And it has that addictive quality that keeps you going, and keeps you sort of regulates your sort of gym use, I think. And um, then you started it, and then no, a month later, you own like two gyms. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, of course, these bloody bought gyms and a fitness company. Um, yeah, yeah, basically. Jo it's John's fault. Everything's John's fault. This, this is the, the difference with John, is that like most people when they get to CrossFit, they, they subscribe to their local gym and just like, you know, have a gym membership. John, when he gets into CrossFit, he buys up two gyms and a fitness company. That's the difference. It, it's, it, that sounds weirder than it. It's, it's the right it, way to do it though. Well, the thing was, I'm for, I've lived in Shoreditch for my whole adult life. We used to hang out at my yeah. flat in Shoreditch, play poker for five quid, you know, because we used to try, that's all we had. Right and I wanted to open a, a CrossFit in Shoreditch. And then, you know, I met Marg and Tony and we redeveloped CrossFit Shoreditch and then COVID kicked in, it was like absolute nightmare. But, but um, me and John have known each other since we were 10 years old. We're not going to say how long that is because yeah. we don't know how to count that far, basically. <laughs> um, but we've known each other since we were 10. We've been talking for a long time about sale of the company and I had a lot of problems with fitness equipment. Um, and John's, you know, obsessed with fitness, you know, personal training qualification, although he's been in the police for 20 years. Was, wasn't. Was in the police, yeah. yeah. Which is ironic because most of my events are illegal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of illegal, do you know in North Korea? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so John, yeah, that's John's background. We um, wanted to set up a company and, you know, and now we're doing it. But I mean, John, so John's going to be running the company mostly. I'm going to be helping out um, with the events and the market and that kind of side. And I'm bringing everyone I know, like you, Connor, CrossFit Shoreditch, everything else, you know, that we can, straight into Amica. Um, so maybe this time next year we'd have done a big event in like but we'll see. Yeah. But first, we're gonna play basketball to warm up. Please, please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, hello, hello. Cheeky. So bad. This is how we yeah, met, so isn't it, Joe? This is how we met. I love you, Joe. Oh, the sun's on my face. <laughs> Lucky today. He gives a little spin on this ball. Hmm? In the sun. In the sun. Woo! Oh, that's sick. Into the sun, baby. Wow. Oh, two. Is that exciting? That that is dope. That is diggity dope. Yeesh. Oh my. in the database so that I win. Are you happy? <laughs> I don't know, probably looking at something. Um, but no, it's uh, it's chaos. It looks carnage. It's chaos and carnage, all in one. Um, but yeah, no, me and Joel have um, done two of the workouts out of the four, and uh, it's going all right. Um, I haven't trained for a couple of weeks, but, uh, but no, it's good. So many good athletes here, you know, 
male, women, everything. It's like it's like pretty impressive. It's quite inspiring actually. Um, makes me want to train more. Uh, but no, um, it's uh, chaos. It's just chaos. It's, um, how's, how's Joel performance? How's your teammate performance? Joel's smashing it. He's carrying me. Are you going to tell him that? No, it's alright actually. It's fine. Um, <laughs> No, it's just been good. Really good, mate. But, um, how many, how many left? This guy's quitting. He's off. Yeah, I'm off still there. They're, they're in the same thing as us. <laughs> yeah, but they're all, everyone's like members and stuff, so it's all fun. You know, it's good fun. Um, but no, it's going brilliantly. Uh, you know, couldn't have been better for our first event. It's very boutique, it's in Shoreditch, you know, it's sick. So, um, and everyone's just having a good time, which is the most important thing. That's all we really care about. I think John's doing all the work. That's what I care about. <laughs> Back to work, John. Back to work. John's taking care of everything behind the scenes. I am. I am. I'm a stressed man today. But it's all going well. So. Oh, thanks. See? Service. So, Luca, one of our coaches, Olympic gold medalist rower, is about to row. You've got to see this. Oh, it's sick. Like, everyone's dead friendly. Yeah. And it was dead good vibes. Like, yeah. We are seventh. So, we're just outside the final, but we'll take that. That's good. We don't need that to work out. We've got our money's worth. It's good. It's been fantastic, yeah. It's been really good. It's been a good day, and now it's time to see who get the prize. Final workout with RX male and RX female fighting for get the money. Done! Amica event in the back. I'm knackered because I competed. John did nothing. I did. I did so much more. It's much more difficult running it than being here. I don't know what he's complaining about. <laughs> I've run events for a long time and uh, I agree with him. Yeah. <laughs> but um, first event, how do you feel? Tired. Yeah, but no, brilliant. Went really well. Everyone seems to have a great time and just bigger things to come. Yeah. The brilliant. Key, the key, the, our only goal today, literally our only goal, was everyone to have as much fun as possible. I had a terrible time because I, com I competed with Joel, but everyone else had a brilliant time. Even John. Even me. He, yeah. he, does, Even look, he, does, look, he does look a bit stressed, though. He's got. Mm. I'm not doing tomorrow, you're doing tomorrow, are you? I'm going home. <laughs> going to hang out with my dog. Uh, success, then, yeah? Success? Yeah, big success. So, yeah. yeah. First one of First one. many more to come. Mm. Yeah.